Well, folks, today is the day that Donald Trump is supposed to be turning himself into a uh, federal courthouse in downtown Miami, 3 p.m. Eastern. And if Trump supporters have their way, there is going to be bloodshed. And I'm not saying that lightly. I'm not saying that hyperbolically, because that is literally what Trump supporters for the last four days have been promising on social media. Multiple Republicans or Trump supporters, I guess I should say, Republican kind of goes hand in hand with that these days. But they have gotten on social media, a lot of them posting on the message board, the Donald, and they have actually called for murders. They have said, quote, we want the bodies to start piling up. Let me read you a couple of the posts that have been found across social media. One of them said, MAGA will make Waco look like a tea party. I used to laugh when my mom said that she was afraid if she registered Republican, she may be arrested one day. I'm not laughing anymore. Just buying more ammo. Another one said, we have now reached a war phase. Eye for an eye. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that wasn't a Republican Trump supporter on social media. That was actually Republican Representative Andy Biggs who tweeted that out to his nearly three quarters of a million followers on Twitter. Others said, America cannot allow this cowardly thug to destroy our democracy. This is what the Second Amendment was made for. Buy a gun or help organize your local militia today. Who's coming with me on Tuesday? I will be the one in the armor, easy to find, K-E-K -E on the back collar. I will be there peacefully to speak up about this misjustice. Legally, I will also be armed, well armed. Another one said, I want blood. I want effing blood. Another one said, accelerate. The quicker the normies realize this isn't a free country, the quicker things can be fixed. And of course, you also had Republican Representative Clay Higgins, uh, who went out there and suggested that people know their bridges, basically saying this is a battlefield on Tuesday in downtown Miami. Um, and, and, and there's more. You've got a Christian conservative group that says we're bringing in four busloads of people to protest. This is insanity. This is utter insanity. And of course, authorities in South Florida are doing everything they can to make sure that nothing horrible happens tomorrow evening or afternoon, I guess I should say. But this is utter insanity. These people are threatening death. I mean, again, I want blood. I want effing blood is what they say. They want to kill people. Luckily, they're stupid enough to post that online. And I hope that every single one of these threats, every single one of these people who say I'm showing up there with a weapon, I hope that the authorities are prepared for these specific individuals, and I hope they're waiting there with handcuffs. Now, granted, yeah, Florida's an open carry state. Uh, we even have, you know, you don't even have to have a license to have a concealed weapon in the state anymore, thanks to Ron DeSantis. So technically that's not illegal and you can't be arrested for that. I get it. But if you bring a gun somewhere like on federal property where you're not allowed to have one, then I do hope law enforcement comes down upon them as swift and as harshly as possible. Because these are brainwashed members of the Donald Trump cult. They don't care who they hurt. Maybe, maybe we're dealing with just a couple of small, pathetic men who pretend to be bigger online than they are in real life. Hopefully that is the case, and hopefully what happens tomorrow is nothing but a couple of wackos out there making idiots of themselves and nobody gets hurt. But we can't even assume that that's what's going to happen because we've seen what these idiots can do when large enough numbers of them show up. That, of course, would be January 6th. So I guess the overall message is I hope law enforcement is paying attention to each and every one of these threats. Supports, uh, reports, excuse me, do support the fact that they are taking these seriously. They're doing what they can.